Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Check it out. It's the Mavic Mini, the DJI Mavic Mini. Finally got this in and we're going to be doing a full-on flight test, in-depth flight test today. I'm going to be recording on my phone what you're going to see, what I'm seeing actually on my phone so you guys can see that. Also going to be recording in 2.7K on the drone itself so you'll be able to see the quality of the video while we're doing this test. This thing can supposedly fly for like 30 minutes maximum in the perfect conditions but i'm estimating probably about 25 minutes so anyway we're gonna just see everything we can possibly do with one battery and see how this thing works let's get started okay so i decided not to like set everything up i want to just show you guys how long it takes to set this thing up of course you want to do the calibrations and updates at home and stuff like that but if you're at your flying field the only thing you should have to do is i'm a kind of a firm believer in doing a compass calibration wherever you fly first of all we're going to take off the camera cover and then super easy with this one the top arms first the bottom back ones second and that's it for this thing being set up all you gotta do is worry about your controller so opening up these antennas pulling out the bottoms and of course we want to screw in the thumb sticks and what's cool i noticed about where the sticks go in they actually click remember the other ones have just like a little rubber thing these ones have a little notch that they click in so harder to lose and then all we need to do is plug in our phone here so we're going to put our cable about there the best way to probably do it is just kind of plug in your phone first just like this this is in um, one plus 6t phone by the way if you're wondering what this is and then once you get it plugged in just kind of put it in this compartment they have a little bit of a different looser area in this drone than like the mavic pros and stuff so we're just making it tight pushing your phone in getting it really tight in there and we're pretty much ready to go i'm not going to plug this in yet because i want to get everything turned on first press press and hold so you hear that beep and then you're turning on the drone so this one press press and hold right here on the bottom immediately want to set it down and then just really make sure that that camera is unobstructed you can see how it just kind of turned and was going through its check process that should be ready to go now all we do is plug in the controller what you'll find is one of the clamps is going to cover up your brightness sensor so I'm going to turn off auto and brighten my phone all the way up so it doesn't dim out on me. If you have your phone set to automatically launch the DJI Fly program, all you need to do is make sure the controller is powered on and plug this in right here. And you're going to see it should launch. There we go. It launches the DJI Fly app and it goes right into the camera. You see that there? What I do want to do real quick though is a compass cal, remember? Just to show you guys how to do this. Even though it says normal, so I'm going to press start here. And super simple. You see what it's saying on the controller? Rotate the drone counterclockwise. And I'm looking at the screen until it tells me to do something else. Now point it up with the camera facing up and rotate it counterclockwise. All the while looking at the phone screen. And it's as simple as that, guys. Okay, guys, so that's how long it took to do that setup, just a couple of minutes. I'm gonna start recording in 2.7K on the drone here. And I'll have that up as well, so you guys can see the quality of that. And we're just gonna take off. So I'm gonna start off in mode P, that's just the regular position hold mode. And I'm pressing this little arrow on the, the left of the phone here. And then all we're doing is taking off. So we're just holding in this button. And there we go. Now this is the second time I've flown it. I just flew it in my house just to double check it. And there is a little bit of wind today. It's about five mile per hour variable coming from this direction right now. And that's how this thing's performing. So you can see how high it launched to. It says on the phone screen, about two and a half feet. I'm gonna pull it up just a little bit. And let's get a closer look at this. Just kind of walk around it see what this thing's all about <laughs> right into the sun but hey guys thanks for watching my videos really appreciate it right there this is the 249 gram drone there this thing is tiny and really really light 
Anyway, let's try some things out. So we're kind of in the sun, so it's kind of dark in the video. I'm gonna turn so there's some lighting. There's the park there. And first things first, maybe go up a little bit so it has some time to maybe track its home point because we're gonna be testing out the precision landing. So I'll just go up, I don't know, about 30 feet. So the camera on the bottom has maybe a chance to just look at the launch pad and stuff. Okay, and let's come back down. That's full speed down. Going about a mile per hour down. And man, when I let this thing off, it's just like a little Mavic. The control, let's go full forward in this P mode. And there's full left stick. Come back forward. Let's do a fast flyby here. Whew. Oh yeah, that thing is just like a little Mavic, man. That's why they call it a Mavic Mini, right? Letting off right now. Took about maybe 10 feet to stop. And it's performing just like I thought DJI would. In all the movements I do, it's smooth to stop, not glitchy at all. It stops where you want it to stop. So that's pretty awesome in P mode, amazing. Let me pitch this camera down. That's full speed pitch down. There's the grass, let's do a punch up. See how fast it goes in P mode. I don't know how fast it's going, but, oh, it's 4.3 miles per hour going up. Nice. Anyway, that's the camera. I'm gonna tilt the camera back up. So all the while, guys, remember, we're looking at this camera and just to let you guys know, I get a lot of comments on, oh, you have a tilted gimbal. No, I don't. This, this um, mountain is sloping down hard in the left word direction right now on the video so slopes down i'm on the haleakala mountain of maui hawaii and there's the west maui mountains over there on the other side of maui so it's not the drone okay it's the mountain sloping i'm gonna come full throttle down and let's do like a let off full throttle down and so you can see it stop right now man you see how precise that is Okay, we got 25 minutes, it says left, so let's do some stuff. Um, we want to see how fast this goes in P mode. So full throttle forward, looking at our speed, 16, 17, it's like maybe about 18 miles per hour. Let me just come back in the opposite direction. Full stick in P mode. Let's see how fast we can go. All the while, it's maintaining its height. Okay, that was about 18 and a half miles per hour against the wind a little bit. So that's what P mode can do. Pretty dang awesome. Let's switch modes here on the top left. I'm hitting this mode button. Sport mode. Let's see how much quicker this is. So our yaw, that's how fast it is. Feels a little bit faster maybe than P mode. Actually, let me cycle down to P mode again. Try the yaw. That's yaw in P mode. We get down here. And S mode, ah, just about the same, maybe a little faster. Okay, the, what we really want to test in S mode is the speed though, right? So, beeline to the other side of the park. And let's see if it loses any altitude. Holy smokes, that's going fast. Don't want to crash. Wow, that got going like 25 miles per hour in that short distance. Let's go up and back so we don't hit anything. Let's see how fast we can get going backwards. About 22 going backwards. Oh, you see the camera adjusting itself. So it's hitting its maximum in sport mode and it has to do some adjustments. I'm going to go full speed ahead and let's just see how fast this thing can go in sport. 27, 28. 20 about 29 guys okay that's sport mode while we're up here check this out have a nice view i'm going to press um on the mode and we're going to go to cinematic mode smooth slow mode and let's see how the yaw is now so that's a maximum yaw a little slower and then camera tilt almost feels about the same in up and down so we're just going to have to do slow camera tilt up and down with our finger which is actually very possible 
And then um, what we'll do is we'll start flying and see how fast it goes flying. I'm gonna kind of fly back, so I'm going slowly to the left. So here's what you can expect in cinematic mode. Okay, seems like it's going slower, definitely slower. That's our maximum speed, eight and a half miles per hour. And I'm pulling full throttle down right now on the stick and it's only dropping about two miles per hour. So it about halves the drop speed. We'll come in right into us at full speed and cinematic. Whew. That's full speed and cinematic. Very slow yaw as well. Okay, I'll have that video up on the screen again, guys, remember? Nice. Doing really good. Very nice. Stopping, it stops right away, turning. Let's see what our maximum um, up and down speed is, or up speed. Three miles per hour. The down was two, yep. I like how it says negative 2.2, because that means you're going down right above the height reading and the roll we didn't really test the roll in anything so that's the roll in cinematics you're gonna get these really cinematic smooth rolling shots switching over to p there's the roll in p mode you see how it's a little faster and of course s even faster that's our maximum roll there look at that letting off boom takes about that stops real quick because it's so light only takes about 10 feet to stop Okay, we're gonna go back into P mode and we wanna test a bunch of these options, right? So first of all, we wanna test maybe the um, tracking functions. So I'm gonna have my daughter, Sanaya, help us out. <laughs> hey, honey, can you help us on the tracking? Cool. Up on the top right, you see that up there, guys? Shuckle, by the way. 18 minutes it's saying we have left, so we better hurry up on this battery. I'm gonna stop recording here for a second. Okay, so we're gonna go into quick shot, guys, and the only way you can, looks like you can get into that is by pressing on the top right video button there, and then hitting quick shot. You see how we can choose our resolution between 2.7 and 1080p? Right now I'm on 2.7. Let's go into quick shot, and here's all our quick shots. So we can do a drony, a rocket, a circle, and a helix, okay? So let's try a drony real quick. So say, you know, me and Sanaya are right here and i'm going to go all the way out to just 100 feet i'm picking my distance and then i'm going to go start pressing start and wow it's automatically tracking see how it has plus signs on us so i'm going to hit plus on sanaya and it's already on her that's pretty cool huh if i press um, off it lets you choose something else Let's see if I can press both. No, nope, we gotta press one. So it's tracking her, we're gonna press start. Let's see what it does. It's centering the camera. Let's wave at it, Sanaya. Let's do a wave. <laughs> and it's gonna go up and out, okay? So let's do the high shaka. High shaka. <laughs> we're on vacation on the edge of a cliff, imagine. And we're doing a drony and it's going up and out. So I'd imagine, there we go, it finished and it's returning you can hit x if you want to stop returning but it looks like it's going to come back to the same spot it started in great and there you go it resets itself so that's cool so now if we want to try something else on the right of the screen i'm pressing on where that droney icon is and i'm going to press rocket and we're going to do 100 feet rocket too so i'm going to press start and let's go on Sanaya again, just pressing right. They made it super easy. Don't you have to draw a box? These guys have a great vision sensor on this. Pressing start. Let's see what happens. Let's lay down. Lay down. Okay, we're laying down. Woohoo! Okay, it's just going to go straight up from where it was. So if you... No, it's actually coming over us. Oh, that was cool. So it started kind of where it was and then it slowly came over us and went up at kind of the same time waving at you guys Woo it's saying we only have 10 minutes left so we better hurry and you see how that time is adjusting in real time as it's coming down it's using less power cool let's get up 
So it goes right back to where it started, not right on top of us, which is good. Cool, next up, let's do something else. Let's do the circle, guys. Centers the camera on the target and circles at a constant altitude, okay? So let's go up. And let's go back a little bit. And we can probably choose these things when we press start. So let's hit start. Again, Sonia is our gal today, so we're gonna go ahead and press on her and hit start. Three, two, one, countdown. And you can see that it's centering the picture directly on her. And that's pretty awesome. So with this one, you really wanna kind of get um, your altitude and your distance before you press start, because it's just locking in that all that information and just doing a circle. But man, I gotta say, DJI is one of the best, if not the best, at doing this kind of orbit stuff. And that was it. You see how easy that was? If I wanted to go the other way, I can press the arrow. You see how it's switching each direction, and you can go the other way. Oh, look, it's also saying I can track a box. <laughs> anyway, that's awesome. That works really well. I'll, I'll have those things up, guys, because it starts recording right when you do them. And the last thing we can do with this one is a helix. I'm not seeing any free tracking stuff, which is interesting. The aircraft ascends while flying in a spiral that expands gradually. Okay, we're gonna do 100 foot on this. And uh, let's just bring it down, maybe start a little closer and down so it kind of has a cool effect. So right there, start again. Sonia, let's track you and start. So hopefully we don't hit anything, but it's gonna go circle and go up and out. Let's see how it does. Bye-bye, drone. <laughs> and that's pretty cool, because it's circling us and it's computing, it's trying to keep her in the center of the shot. Just stay where you are, yeah, don't move around too much. Keeping her in the center of the shot. And we can wave at it, say we're on vacation. This would be great because it's so tiny and light for a vacation, just to get these quick shots. And look how smooth that video was until it stopped. Now it's centered back on her, it knows where she is, and it's just gonna come right back where it left off. So you don't have to worry about flying it back. And that's pretty incredible for these kinds of drones. Does it really well, no hiccups whatsoever. It's fantastic. So what I'm seeing guys is there's no like free tracking so that's a little bit disappointing, unless I'm missing it somewhere. But as you can see, the only option I have is quick shot. So let me close this. Yeah, so that's all we can do. We can't do any free tracking. So I guess that's the limitations on this, guys. Anyway, thanks tonight for your help. Much mahalos, really appreciate that. And let's go take some pictures. So we'll exit out of this. How do we exit out of this? This is always a confusing thing to me. Pressing on the screen, nope. Um, what do we do to exit? I guess we'll just go right here and then we'll go back to video or photo. And that gets out of the mode, so not too hard. You just gotta click on it again and go out. So let's go up to photo, guys. And we're gonna just click on the screen to get out of there and go up here. Now let's take some photos before we finish up this battery. Still says we got nine minutes of flight. That's amazing. Now let's lift this camera up. Let's get some shots of like the West Maui Mountains. Clicking up in the clouds and the brightness, you see how it's getting darker on the ground so that lights up in the clouds. Clicking on the ground and you see how that brightens up the ground. So let's take one shot with the ground bright like this. Taking a photo, boom. That's as easy as that. You can also use these buttons on the top of the controller, video and photo. So let's try that with the next one. We'll click all the way over there on the mountains. So it's gonna darken it up, but the ocean's a little brighter in the clouds. Click photo. So you can do it that way too. Let's do um, all the way down shot. So let's back up here. So our little area is in view and just want to click right on the grass there in the center and I'm going to hit photo. Again, I'll have these things popping up, guys. Let's do a upward shot of a photo here, a little higher up. 
clicking on the screen. I like to do that just, just to make sure the photo is as, as best as it can be. Clicking on photo again. Bam. That's great. Okay. Let's um, get the camera back up and maybe do a, a few more shots at Haleakala Mountain, like in this area here. So I'm going to click on these schools, take a photo, rotate, click on the middle of the mountain, photo, rotate. Oh, there's Poli Poli where I fly a lot. See how it's darkening everything up? So you're going to have to play with this because of the clouds, right? See how I'm clicking in different spots and it's brightening and dimming. Photo there and then let's click up in the forest up there and do another photo there. Awesome. Let's take a photo of Koho Olave. So let's center in on Koho Olave. Click right on it. Take a photo over there. Okay. Koho Olave is about, what is that, six miles away from the point or the um the beach over there let's take a photo of this check this out you can see um lanai over there so there's west maui lanai let's take a photo touch the ground brighten it up a little bit another photo touch over there on west maui another photo there's the photos guys i'll have those uh, popping up for you and geez let's see what else we can do i think we kind of went through everything <laughs> you can possibly do i'm going to go back into video so i'm pressing on video again over here on the right and i'm going to press record again boom so we're recording our 2.7k again let's see how good this video is when we fly fast and stuff so i'm going to go into sport mode and let's just do a punch out. So I'm gonna come down all the way to our location. So say this would be like a um, manual drony shot, right? Say we wanted to do a punch out of our location. We're recording and I'm just gonna do full throttle up right now, pushing up. Let's put a little rotation in there. Just a little bit of a left yaw. Aircraft power insufficient. Oh, that's interesting. See that notification up there on the top left? So, being that this thing is... Wow! Okay. So, went in to return to home. Oh, return to home promptly is what it's saying on the top left. Do you see that? So, it's saying it's your first warning. Like, hurry up. You're low battery. Let's get home. That's what that means. So let's just do it. Let's do a return to home and see how accurate it is landing right there. So I'm going to press in the hardware button. And I'm going to pick this camera up to horizontal. And let's see just how close this thing lands. Remember we launched right on the H, in the center of the H. Let's just see how it does with that. Coming on down. Hopefully it goes over there, because right now it's like right here. But maybe, you know, with these things too, there's always, is it gonna cancel its searching for location because the battery is so low? That's always a possibility too. So far it's quite a ways away. See that? So I'm gonna stop it by pushing up. That didn't stop it. Pressing home one time and it stopped. Okay, so that's how far it's going to be landing, but I'm not sure that's if that's the um, the low voltage, right? So we'll test that in another video, the actual precision landing, because that's about all we can do. It's beeping at me here. So we'll just do like a manual landing. Oh, you know what we should do is let's land on our hand. So let's see how it is to grab this thing. Can we put our hand under? It senses it. You see that? So what you might be able to do is sneak in underneath and grab it. Yeah, you could do that. And then just push down. Or let's see if we can just land right on our hand. It wants to go up, but I'm pushing down on the controller. And I'm just holding it right there until it lands in my hand. 
Guys, that's the first flight test for the Mavic Mini. I hope you enjoyed that. Up here, if you tap on the screen here to the top right, that's your flight time during the flight. You get your battery voltage there. There's two cells, so they're both at 3.46. And these are lithium ions, remember? Lithium ions can drain lower than uh, lithium polymers. Lithium polymers, you really don't want to drain them lower than 3 volts per cell. Lithium ions, they're okay even down to like 2.5. So we still have another volt. And that went down to 10% battery. So our flight time for that flight was 22 minutes and 20 seconds down to 10%. So pretty darn awesome. Um, I could imagine that everything I was doing, we should have been able to probably fly for about 25, like I was saying, estimated. If you're, the numbers they give you of 30 minutes, that's like if you have no wind and you're flying in P mode just straight forward the whole time. That's like the most efficient way this thing can fly. So those are the numbers they give you like up to 30 minutes. But in real world stuff where you're hovering, you're flying fast, slow, got the camera on, doing stuff, uh, I'd say this one's gonna get you about 25 minutes before it kind of force lands. So if we're talking cons, guys, the only cons I can see on this little guy is the camera's only 2.7K, and I'll have had that up so you guys can see the quality of that. Remember when we were doing our smart modes like our drony shots you're kind of locked into those it seemed unless i was missing something but it didn't seem like you could do any kind of uh free tracking so that might be a major con to some people you're just locked in it seems to those unless they can update it they probably will update the app with some more stuff but since you're you have to use that separate dji fly app you don't have all those options that the dji go 4 app does for like the regular mavics but otherwise man everything else seemed great great little hand catching drone super duper light these sensors seem to be working really good it's like it has two infrareds and one optical flow little camera tiny little thing in there but it seemed to just keep its height perfectly over the grass even sport mode man it wasn't dropping in altitude at all just you know exactly what you would expect from any other dji mavic drone just performed flawlessly man i mean have you ever seen the mavic my mavic reviews the the regular size mavic it flies exactly the same as that. So that's pretty incredible. And it flies for 25 to 30 minutes. Don't miss the range test, guys. I'm doing a full-fledged to 0% range test on this, flying out that way. And we're gonna just see exactly how far this thing can, can fly. So that'll be fun. If you haven't seen my playlist on this, I'll have it pop up here on the right-hand top corner of the screen. It'll also be in the description down below. If you missed any of my other videos, I also have done a unboxing we're doing range testing and we're going to do a little bit more flight testing to check out the precision landing capabilities of it because i don't think that was really fair when it was um the battery was almost dying coming down that might just be a fail safe where it lands close to you but i gotta say dji has another hit with their mavic mini here i don't know anything that's comparable that is so small and light and remember the main thing for this one guys is you're getting a 240 9 gram drone that means you don't have to register it with the faa as of now because it's ultra light and it falls below that registration weight requirement i mean i'm not a dji fanboy but just look at this let me put the lens on and just see how well it fits in the pocket let's just put it in there you go so if you have a little bit of a baggy pocket I would definitely call this a pocket drone. Anyway, guys, I hope you really enjoyed that video. That was super fun for me, Sanaya. Hey, thanks. High five. Let's go get some ice cream or something, yeah? A little treat. <laughs> thanks for being um, kind of the guinea pig. This one doesn't have any of those tracking functions where you can run around, it doesn't seem yet. So maybe when they update it, can you help me with that too? Okay, cool. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and links are down below. See you in the next one. What's up, doggy? What's up? Hey. <laughs>